let's talk about sticky effect. So now I'm going to show you how to do these cards floating on top of each other. It's very easy and you don't need code. Let's start with a blank section. And as we know, it's always by default 500 pixels. I'm going to change this into viewport height and I'm going to use 325 uh, percent uh, so it's going to be it's going to be actually four rows uh, three of 100 and one of 25 okay so now let's add the grid let's apply the grid uh, I'm going to use other and I'm going to use four rows so right now by default it's going to be divided equally uh, between um, the section but if I'm going to change grid layout I can control it so right now it's 25 percent I want to change it to viewport height as well because I want to constrain it to 100 um, exactly. And same goes to this part. So that's 100 exactly. And I'm going to do the second one as well. Viewport height 100 and here as well. And just the last one, I'm going to do viewport height of 25. Okay, so it's the same. I'm going to scroll all the way back to the top of the grid. And here, I'm just going to add a container. Okay, so I'm going to drop a container here. And I'm going to stretch it um, to the whole uh, grid cell. And you can see it's stretched to the top one only. And we're going to make this container transparent. So the reason we're doing that is to constrain um, you know, the limits of the image of the first image. So now we're going to just add the first image here in the center. It's going to be the card. So I'm going to open um, the layers, the layout panel, and adding this. And we're going to change uh, the image. So we're going to take the first image from um, Emily, the yellow one here. And now you see it's, if it's cropped, uh, that's not a problem because what we can do is go to the gear icon and reset the image and now it has the original um, dimensions and I'm going to center it again and we're not going to use docking so I'm going to leave this one clear and it's going to be 35% um, of the container um, so let's start and for the container we're going to add the sticky effect here let's create the second one so what I'm going to do I'm going to use command D to duplicate the whole container um, I'm going to center it to the page and now let's push it to the second row and don't forget to stretch it like we did with the first one. So now we just need to change this image, right? So we're going to go to choose the second one and we're going to tilt it. So still clicking on the image, I'm going to use 15 degrees um, for that. And since this is already sticky, on the position, we can already start to see the effect in action. So while scrolling between the first and the second containers, I have the effect. Let's carry on with the third one. So again, um, Command D, I'm going to center this to the page. And right now it's covering um, two and three. I'm going to click only three and again, stretch the container. And let's replace the image one more time. This time we're going to use the last one with the barcode. And I'm just going to use now on the rotation minus 15. So it's going to tilt to the other side. Great. So we already done most of the work. We got the, the pile of cards. Um, now I just need to add the video animation in the back. I'm going to start again with a container. So I'm placing a container here and I'm going to add an image. So I'm dropping an image into here. I'm going to stretch the image and I'm going to change the image into the uh, GIF file that Emily created. And now before I'm going to stretch it um, to the background, I'm going to go into the layers panel and just make sure that this container is going to be in the back of my image and my container. And I'm going to stretch it right now. So sorry, I'm going to go to the container itself and stretch it. 
So now we have these three containers, each one of them has an image. And this one has another container in the back to separate. And this container does not have um, the sticky scrolling effect, right? It's default, so it's gonna stay with the site. So let's see what happens now on preview. So I'm scrolling and the GIF stays in the back and I'm just scrolling that. So that's it. I just wanna show you one more thing um, before we finish. I wanna add another section just to emphasize on the sticky effect. So I'm gonna go to here and add another blank section. Um, I'm gonna leave it uh, pixels right now. I'm just gonna change it into a thousand. So it will be a bit taller. And I'm gonna add another image here and stretch it. And I'm gonna choose one of Emily's images to, just to show you um, there's more, there's more scrolling for it. So we're gonna choose something nice. Of sketches. Okay, I like this one. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. Really cool. A lot of tons, really cool images. Okay, so now when I'm pressing preview, I just wanna show you that when the section ends, after the sticky effect, when the section ends, you're just gonna put everything on top and you are going to the next section. So this could be another image, could be um, another table, another doc, and that's it. All you have to do is just check, uh, check your responsive, um, check the different breakpoints. Remember, that you, can, you can use percentage. So if this is too small on mobile or desktop, what you can do, you can always go to the image and make the image bigger. Use like 60%. Just don't forget to do it to the rest of the images as well. And then you got yourself a responsive uh, website with sticky effect. So enjoy.